right. Let me show you what I got. Well, I guess you guys can uh, can guess, but uh, I'm building another G23 with a, I'm gonna put a, a H22 head on there, build me another Frankenstein motor. And lucky for me, when I uh, got to the junkyard, someone already removed the head. And upon inspection, cylinder is okay, no problem at all. be a fun uh, project just have to uh, modify this block do a uh, little modification to uh, accept like the uh, oil cooler from the H22 block and I might the previous block that I have I drilled some holes in it I think I can't remember I think it's over here uh, I was using it for uh, to relieve some of the uh, positive uh, ventilation on a crankcase ventilation and I'm gonna keep the uh, balance shaft why you ask I learned from the uh, from the past remember I had uh, I have mentioned that uh, I had two G23s that blew up on me and I wanna do it right on this one and plus, if you're going uh, boost anyway, additional 10 to 15 horsepower, I mean, you'll get that right away. And plus, keeping the balance shaft, it helps out all that vibration. Yep, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep uh, 86 mil. And like I said, I already have some of the parts, like the, uh, the rods, aftermarket uh, rods. And I'll probably just get a CP uh, Pistons 86. I'm gonna start at 86, and who knows? I might. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'll. I'll figure it out if I will want to send the block for. Uh, get it uh, sleeve, re-sleeve, to make it even uh, better. You know, uh, without doing anything on this block, I can get 400 or uh, 400 or more horsepower on this thing. Just slap H22 head on there and just boost it but the uh, the problem is uh, it's kinda lock on uh, low RPM acceleration because I think the compression this one if I'm, if I'm mistaken it will end up like 8 to 1 compression or or a little bit more but I needed something like uh, at least over 9 yeah that's what I'm gonna go for a K20 pistons and I also picked up max speeding rods, but I'll show that later on. Right now, I just want to focus on this one. And uh, it's the airplane. I'll wait till it passed. But let me uh, show you. I've never shown what happened to the block on the previous motor I had. Okay. Yep. And the holes I was talking about is right here. I was using this for uh, passive ventilation. And this one, the plug, I have a fitting uh, that attached to it. It's for the holes, the return holes for the oil cooler. And I need to, uh, on the other block, I need to drill a hole and for my oil feed. What happened to it? This is, uh, I think I had this thing bored. I started 86 and the piston went out on me, and then the second time I had it uh, oversized, and that's what happened right there. So I think it's a combination of uh, uh, ECU. I don't have a Honda at the time, the S300, and also I was using a no, uh, no name brand uh, wastegate. So that's the plan on this one. I'm gonna strip it out and clean the block and I'll decide if I want that thing uh, re sleeve And also, why I'm doing this out here, uh, my engine stand is occupied. Plus, I'm, turn, I'm just gonna uh, tear this thing apart and clean it anyway. 
I'm going to send it out to uh, machine shop. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay? Well, that's the plan on this one. Um, but it, it won't be on the car soon. You know, not, not, not in the near future. But I'm thinking maybe like a six-month project on this one. You know how it is to get expensive, you know, doing all this uh, project. And uh, plus, my, uh, it's going to go to the White Accord. And uh, that'll be due on uh, smog check on by October. So I have, but uh, today is uh, March, April, May, June, July, August. I have six months to uh, to build this one, but we'll see what happens. Okay, that's there in the park. This uh, oil pan, this motor doesn't use a, a rubber gasket, but uh, the silicone on the band, and that's a pain in the, it's a pain to take it off. It's like you almost like break the dang thing. After this, uh, when I put it together, you could buy the rubber seal. Let's do a quick check. And I'm using 2000. I just want to check for flatness. Packing, if my 2000 goes in, then it's no good. Should be from stud to stud. Good, good, good. Could be my ruler, you know. Yeah, it's, I think it's my ruler. It's not really flat. Okay. Yeah, it goes in. This side. Yeah. Well, two thousand goes in.
So meaning, oh no, it's good. Must have been uh, a debris. Yeah, it's, it's tight. Now this one goes in. But I guess it would not matter because I'm uh, I'm gonna have it sleeve, so they're gonna deck it anyway. They're gonna skim it. And let me show you the uh, the crank. The crank is it, it is spinning. Look at this. It's burnt. So I think I'll just polish that. Set it to polish. And let's have this. Uh, my trusty my precision it's a uh, 2.168 yeah 2.168 and max same thing Eight. Yeah, this is the center. It's good. Sixty-eight. Sixty-eight. And let me have it uh, squared. Let me put it down. Let me turn it around. Same thing, 65, 65, 65, 65, yeah, 65, all right, let me check the block real quick. on this one. Doesn't go in. Well, looks like the, this thing is straight. Good to go. If there is a, if, if this uh, 2000 filler gauge goes in, then it's no good. So it looks like it's straight. So I don't have to uh, rehone this thing. And the crankshaft, I just need to have it. Uh, polish or maybe I'll just polish it myself so I think I'm within and hopefully my bearings uh, it's not uh, uh, my bearing clearance is not to the max and then, oh look at this I think the uh, already damaged right here yeah, I'll just file it Finding more and more right there. That's from the uh, the tabs from the bearing. I guess it, it is spinning. Maybe it is the uh, bearings or not. Well, I'm gonna. One thing I can do is uh, I have a bore uh, bore gauge. I'm gonna slap that thing on here. 
and then check if it's a uh, egg shape or so. Okay. All right. Well, guys, that's it. And uh, like I said, it will be a project. I have uh, six months to, uh, to complete this one, and uh, well, six months is nothing. By the time you know it, it's already Christmas again. And I'm just gonna clean up the block and probably have it uh, line honed and just oversize uh, bearings and see what happens. Well, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys back. Oh, and uh, thank you for all uh, my subscribers. Yeah, I could not believe that uh, I have more than 100 now. And uh, thank you all and appreciate it. And uh, this is what makes me uh, all the hyped up, you know, to do all this project. And again, thanks guys. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.